Hello, this video shows about introduction to little fs, write in little fs, read in little fs and delete in little fs. If one is familiar with using Firebase to fetch and update data to real-time databases, then it is known that it is an annoying problem that the data will be destroyed when the node MCU resets. So, here let us learn how to overcome this problem of data being destroyed once the node MCU resets. First, let us interface 16 cross 2 LCD display and I2C module with ESP8266 and then proceed to little fs. You will need 16 cross 2 LCD display, I2C module, breadboard, jumper bias. Connect ground pin of the I2C module to the ground pin of ESP8266 and connect the VCC of the I2C module to the VIN pin of ESP8266. These two pins supply the power to the LCD screen. Connect SDA and SCL pins of I2C module to D2 and D1 pins of ESP8266 respectively. Now let us see how to include the required library to upload the code for ESP8266. Dot .zip file is included at the bottom of the circuit digest article. Go to Arduino IDE, sketch, include library, add the zip file and select this zip file and press open. Now compile and upload the code. You can get the hello world program from the circuit digest article. Upload the code to the node MCU. You should see the output as shown. The message is displayed on first row for a second and the second row for a second and this continues. Now let us move on to little fs. You can find the detailed explanation in circuit digest. The circuit is exactly same as the previous one. First, set the baud rate to 115200 and select no line ending. Upload the code. For the first time, a message no data saved should be displayed. Then, whatever should be written to the flash memory, type that in serial monitor. When you press enter, same is displayed in the serial monitor and in the LCD display. This data can be read by pressing R and the data can be deleted by entering D. Now if you try to read it says no saved data. Now we can type the new data and it will be rewritten in the flash memory. Now when the power is disconnected and reconnected, you can see that the data is still held in the flash memory. Hence, by using little fs, the data can be accessed from flash memory even when power is disconnected. For the full project, visit www.circuitdigest.com. Thank you.